Hey guys, I hope you're having a wonderful start to your week. This is our Tuesday devotional, and I found something from history that I think you'll find very interesting. Uh, another one of those devotionals with a question. How did a little girl's letter change history? When Grace Bedell, I think that's how you say her name, who lived in New York was 11 years old, she wrote a letter to a very famous man. The letter told this man that he should grow a beard. Grace thought his face was too thin and that he would look better with a beard. One day when this man came to Grace's city on a train stop, he asked to see her. Grace went to meet him and when he saw her, he gave her a kiss and said, You see, I let the whiskers grow for you, Grace. Who was the man? Why don't you uh, maybe guess who you think this man might be? He's a very famous man. You've seen pictures of him yourself. His name was Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, Abraham Lincoln. This 11 year old sent a letter to Abraham Lincoln. Now, I don't know how many of you know much about Abraham Lincoln, but before he grew that beard that we all know him for, he was clean shaven. He had no beard. But this little girl kept seeing his picture with no beard, and she thought, hmm, that doesn't quite look right. So she wrote him the letter, and he actually grew a beard for her. So that's very interesting. You can imagine that it was quite exciting for Grace to learn that a president had listened to her. She couldn't help but feel important. But a president isn't nearly as powerful as God. Do you know what God thinks about children? Jesus explains to us how God feels. Beware that you don't look down upon a single one of these little children, for I tell you that in heaven their angels have constant access to my Father. That's from Matthew chapter 18, verse 10. God loves everyone, but he especially loves children, and he always listens to their prayers. God wants you to know that you are very important to him and that he always has time for you. He will never be too busy to pay attention to your feelings. God gives you, his special child, a special place in his kingdom. If you ever feel that your friends or parents aren't listening to you or that you have problems that no one seems to be able to help you with, remember that you have someone on your side who will always make you his top priority. Tell God that you want to be, want Him to be your friend, and He will always be available for you to talk with Him. You don't even have to write Him a letter to get His attention. All you have to do is pray. And that's something for you guys to be thinking about, is that no matter how young, how old you are, you are God's special child. And no matter what, He will listen to your prayers. He will uh, listen to your prayers. He will, he will be there with you no matter what. During this crazy time of not being at school, not seeing your friends, I'm sure it's kind of hard for you guys at times, but God is always there, and He's there in helping you no matter what. So I hope you remember this for the rest of your week, and we will see you in the next video, but hopefully we'll see you guys in person very soon. Bye, guys.